Mimo, tomorrow we can paint the tree house. What color do you want to paint it? I think brown would be a good color. All right, but we also have to make some chairs for the balcony and attach a swing to the trunk. What was that noise? I'm not sure, but it sounded like an elephant. An elephant? Let's check it out. Look, Milo, you are right. There is an elephant. She's really big and very pretty. Hello, friends. You don't need to whisper because I can hear from very far away. We didn't say anything. A while ago, you were talking about painting the treehouse. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you really did hear us. Uh-huh. Makes sense with such big ears. Uh, we heard a noise and came to see what was going on. I'm all right. It's just that I'm pregnant and it won't be too long until I give birth. You're really going to have a little baby elephant right now? I think so. But I'm not very sure because it's my first time. I can't believe this. We're going to see how a little baby elephant is born. How exciting! We could stay here and watch and we'll help you with whatever you need. That wouldn't be a problem for me. That way I won't be alone. Would you mind if I go and tell my friends when they hear that there's a pregnant elephant who's about to give birth, they're going to be dying to see it. Go right ahead. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here and keep you company. Hooray, hooray. <laughs> Momo, Rita, Alfred, Talalo, you have to come and see something incredible. Not now, Olga. We're sleeping. Momo, I promise you're going to love this. What could be so important? I don't want to tell you the whole story. Just come down and follow me. I promise you'll love it. Olga, everyone's sleeping and I'm really tired. So tell me what it is or... I'm going back to bed. As you wish. There's an elephant who's about to give birth. Oh, great. I'm going back to bed. An elephant about to give birth? A baby is about to be born! Everybody up! There's a baby about to be born! What's the matter, Moo Moo? Baby elephant is about to be born! Hurry, let's go! It's really incredible! Years ago, I saw how a rhinoceros was born in the jungle! A birth is something incredible and marvelous, and it's... it's... where's Olga? We're leaving now, Rita. Be patient. Patient? Run, Olga! Run! Tell me where she is. I want to see that elephant right now. Everybody quiet! I just can't believe it. The baby elephant sounds just like Milo. Hi, Moo Moo. And he even knows my name. It's incredible. That was Milo. The baby hasn't been born yet. Oh, of course. Yeah, I knew that. It's incredible that there's a baby inside her belly. Inside there? Yes, Moo Moo. The babies are inside the mother's belly. Huh? I knew that. Everybody knows that. But just one question. How does the baby get inside her belly? Huh? Well, Moo Moo, that's more complicated. The elephant has been carrying it inside her belly for two years. Mm, ouch! I think he's just about ready to come out. Is there anything we can do to help? I'd like you to start thinking of a name for me to give to my son. Uh, I can't think of a single name. Lucas! Then Lucas it is. It's coming out! <laughs> Look, you can see its head! He's almost out. It's really big. Whoa, how beautiful. Welcome to the world, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. <sighs>
Thank you for everything. Yay! 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 We didn't do anything. During a delivery, you don't have to do anything. You just have to let nature take its course and keep the mother company. You all did that very well. I hope you come visit us a lot so we can play with Lucas. We'd love to come visit you. We're going to go now and leave you two alone so you could get to know each other. Yes, that would be great. Goodbye, Mrs. Elephant. Goodbye, Goodbye, Lucas. Goodbye, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> That was really awesome. I've never seen anything so incredible. But there's still one thing I don't understand. What's that, Moo Moo? Mm, hello, baby. <laughs> you know what? Yesterday I saw a really ugly fly that wouldn't stop bothering me. Olga, every fly is ugly, and they also smell bad. How disgusting! A big fly with hair all over the place? I don't know what they're good for. All they do is bother you. Well, just like you, Rita. You're like a fly. You do nothing but bother us all the time. Me? That's not true at all. You are a stinky fly. And you're like a green booger. That's so gross! A green and stinky booger? Quit biting, you two. You're like two flies that do nothing but fly around and fight. But she's the one who started it. No, you're the one who started it. Hi there. Why are those two fighting? Ah! A spider! Somebody help me! Ah! Where's there a spider? Spiders gross me out. Go away, bug. <laughs> I just wanted to say, yeah, yeah, whatever you say, but just go somewhere else. Okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Go far away, dear. Real far away. Make sure we can't see you. Did you see how hairy and ugly she was? I don't know if she was ugly or not, but I'm really scared of spiders. She was really ugly, and we don't want her around us. Hi! What were those screams that I heard? There was a spider right there, and it scared us half to death! It scared you? <laughs> Spiders are harmless. They only attack when they feel threatened, just like bees do. Whatever you say, but it was a red, ugly spider. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Red and ugly? I hope you don't mean little spider. Who is little spider? Little Spider is my friend. She's a really nice and funny spider. I hope you weren't mean to her. She's a very good friend of mine. Uh, yeah, but we didn't know she was your friend. But it's a... a hairy spider. I can't believe it. You cannot judge anyone before you get to know them. I'm going to look for her, and when I find her, you should apologize. Oh, dear. We really were mean to Little Spider. Yeah. If I had known she was Milo's friend, I wouldn't have been so mean to her. It still makes my skin crawl, but I'm going to try to talk to her. Little Spider! Little Spider! Where are you? Don't pay attention to what my friend said to you. You're my friend, and I want you to come with me. My friend said they want to apologize to you. Little spider, don't hide. Let me explain. I never want to see your friends again. They were all really mean to me. Little spider, I'm so sorry, but my friends are really nice. It's just that they're afraid of, of things they don't understand. But I told them you're my friend, and from now on, they're going to be nice to you. Are you sure they won't get scared when they see me? I assure you. Come on, climb on my arm and let me introduce you. Here we are. <clears throat> <clears throat> Little spider, I'm very sorry for what we said to you before. I just got scared. Will you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. I know that you're good friends of Milo's, and he told me that you're nice to all the other animals. 
I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry for the mean things I said to you. I hope you'll forgive me. Yeah, I feel the same as Wimmo. End of story. I forgive all of you. You see, little spider? Now you have some new friends. Well, now that we're friends, I'm going to tell you a joke. A joke? A spider telling a joke? I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Rita! What is red and dangerous? Strawberry jam with the tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> was a good one, little spider. Can you tell us another one? What do you get if you mix a rose with a tarantula? I don't know, but you better not try to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn to tell a joke. But you're no good at telling jokes, Moo Moo. What do you mean I'm no good? I am great at telling jokes. I'm sorry, Moo Moo. The truth is that we never understand your jokes because you start laughing before you finish telling them, and then you never finish them. This one you'll understand for sure. It's really good. Why did the chicken cross the road? Mm, I don't know, Moo Moo. To get to the other side. <laughs> it's excellent. <laughs> did you get it, huh? Come on, don't go. I want to tell another one.